I just don't understand what people's hang-ups are about bathrooms. I know. Why are we wasting taxpayer dollars on this? Just make them all gender neutral. You, you remove the urinals. Quit, or, put, yeah. or if you're going to have urinals, you can put them in enclosed stalls and be done with it. Yeah. I mean, this, I would is, like this to... isn't a new concept. Did you? I know. I'm not saying the show is good, but it's a pop culture. If you're listening, Kim, did you ever watch Ally McBeal? Uh, a little bit here and there. They they always had scenes. They were in the bathroom. They would somebody would go to the bathroom. They were gender neutrals. They were just a line of stalls, line of stalls, and 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 you know the sink to wash your hands. That's what I mean. It's like this is it's it's ridiculous that this. This is still an issue. If if and people will say, "Oh, it's to protect women." Well, not really. If a man is going to do something, he's still going to go into the woman's room, and he can go into the stall and still assault somebody. Yeah. Or or peek or do whatever you want. Just you know, if you're going to poop, you're going to poop. Everyone's got to poop. Everybody's got to poop. Who cares? Maybe if you need to make floor to ceiling, uh, which is actually awesome. more dangerous. Yeah. Because you can't see what's going on. The reason why the, the stalls are the way they are is so you can see what's going on um, in for cleaning. It's easier to clean, those yeah. stalls. But maybe make it a little bit harder to have those little slots. I mean, I see the slots. I don't look at people when they're shitting. I mean, occasionally you, you see might people be, looking at you? Occasionally you might be walking by and you're just looking at the stall and you get that one second because the guy's looking out the slot. You know, <laughs> but whatever. It's, you know... It, I'm not looking at somebody shitting, male or female. I don't understand what the holdup is. Is that you, George Michael? Leave me alone, George Michael. You know, you you take a you you, you're using the restroom in a private enclosed stall. I don't see what the big deal. I've always thought they should have gender neutral stalls, and you can have multiples through the building. That's what I mean. And I mean, apparently, you know, in some buildings, they've like been putting them in out of the way places. You know, inconvenience. In- inconvenience these type of people. You got to go walk all the way over there in this part of the campus to use it. Well, usually, those are the family restrooms that anybody can go into. But it, it also, all I can say is that I walk around my building. We have occupancy limits. You have to have so many bathrooms for so many people. We're right, like a right. thousand people a floor, so they have so many bathrooms. They they looked at the uh, how many male females are on this floor. Okay, well we can use more female restaurants. So I'm looking for a male re- uh, restaurant. Restroom. I'm looking for a male restroom, and Great I can't. Chewy. I have to go two or three. Be, you know, if they were all neutral, neutral. Boom. I, I don't. I don't see what people's hangups are. Yeah, I think they should remove gender from things like restrooms. I mean, the Greeks had like a number. You know, every number had a gender. Every letter had a gender, and stuff like that. And there's no point for that. You know, um, a restroom is a restroom. It's a place to poop. That's mm-hmm. all there is to it. You know, there's no reason for like to hang up a, these, uh, I don't know, many ways obsolete notions of masculinity and femininity because pooping is the same for both male and female or right. whatever you are in between, you know. Plus, I worked at this place and the male bathroom and the girl women's bathroom were right across from each other, the entrance, right? And every now and then you'd see a door to the women's room open, all right, and there was a freaking couch in their bathroom. We don't have a couch. Ca- we didn't have a couch in our bathroom. They had a little love seat in there, and they could sit there and chit-chat if they wanted to, have a little private conversation. And I got a little mad. I, I was like, how come we don't get a couch in the, in the men's bathroom? And people were like, you know, I've never heard anyone say, any man say that they wanted a couch in the men's bathroom. You can't even get most men to stay in there long enough to wash their hands, you know? Oh, I, I, <laughs> you know, it's one thing I see you go to the urinal and not wash your hands. I don't know, maybe you can do it without touching, but when I see you walk out of the... The closed door. I mean, I guess you could just be doing a number one, but in general, I see people all the time. Uh, it's just disgusting. I wash my hands all the time. I use the time I go to the bathroom, regardless of what I have to do. I could have touched something in the hallway. That's when I wash my hands. Um, so you're a CD. I get it. Uh, not completely, but if I if I go in in that room, I you're damn well sure I'm going to wash my hands. Well, let me ask you something. Is a uh... You think it's cool if, if it's okay not to wash your hands or if you're just peeing? Unless you're like... I a, think you should. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, I don't know what germs are, could be down there, but I would I would say, yes, you should. But I can concede to a degree versus if, you, if, you, if you're going to the other one. Even if you touch the handle coming out of the stall. What if I hit it with my elbow? 
for my foot. You could, but if you if you're touching, I I think anytime you go to the bathroom, it's a good opportunity to wash your hands because no matter where you were before, you could have touched something. What? So I always wash my hands. My son and I went to a Friday's bathroom when he was like five years old, and some guy just walked right out of the stall. My son followed him out. Said that guy didn't go. That guy didn't wash his hands. Wow. <laughs> that was a bit wow. Most hilarious. Your OCD thing ever. is rubbing off on him. But no, I always wash my hands. I do not leave the bathroom without washing my hands. Sometimes I, I will always... wash my hands, urinate, and then wash my hands again. <clears throat> We're here debating the etiquette of hand washing. What if you just go in there like blow your nose, wash your hands? Yeah, it's, it's the opportunity to wash my hands. What if you just wanted to sneak out a fart? You just next. No, uh, then I won't wash my hands if okay. I'm sneaking out a fart. But I usually have no hang-ups about sneaking out a fart. So. 